We've traded in the sands of the Sahara for the snows of Canada to try a winter activity very different from skiing or snowboarding. In this episode, we're going dog sledding. We are about three hours north of Toronto and we're here in Canada visiting family for the holidays and we found out that there is a dog sledding place and if you can hear in the background, we're here. We're about to go dog sledding through the Canadian wilderness. Uh, we're just waiting for our orientation so we can learn how to actually mush. And then we get to meet our dogs. They're actually pulling out some dogs right now. It's so cute. They have about 150 to 160 dogs here. And each sled gets five dogs. And each one of them has a name. Every single one of them has a name. The lady inside said that the closer you get to actually leaving, the dogs are gonna get louder and louder. This is the group before us. They're just finishing their orientation. And you can actually hear the excitement level in the dogs just like raising and raising and raising. They wanna go. It's snowing right now. It's more like sleet. Like icy rain. Why do you guys carry them on to here? Because they like it or oh. they're just lazy. <laughs> uh, only I was lazy. This is Rainy and this is Rainy's daughter, Gillum. Hi, Gillum. Oh. This one's Rainy. This is Gillum. Oh, okay. This is Gillum. And this is Rainy. Hey, Rainy. 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 Oh, hey, look at my face. Taffy. Kathy? Taffy. Taffy. Yep. So right now they're loading up all the dogs. And it's funny because they take a dog and they kind of put it next to the other one. Like, okay, do you guys like each other today? Are you friends today? Can you work together today? Some of them can, some of them can't. Some of them are best buds, and other ones are like, mm -mm, put me somewhere else today, I don't like this guy. It's fun, you see all, seeing all the personalities are really, really fun. I would love that right now. Take this foot, yep. give it a little push off off the snow, and then get back on the brake. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Hi guys! Hi girls! Up up! <laughs> when it's the leaders, if they stop, you stop. That's fair. Thank you. Oh, we got another pee. Oh, and a poop. Oh, he's, I think she's yeah. still pooping. He's pooping mid-walk. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is... No, they're not pooping. He's trying. Are you? Yeah, uh, he's trying. He's pooping. Oh, yes you are. You're not going to who can leave with Gilly? All right. Yeah, I know. We stole your friend. All right. That's the way you do it. All right. All right. Get him up going. Head, head. All right. All right. Give it a push. Try to see how it goes. We just had to switch out one of the lead dogs because that synergy just wasn't working. There's something else happening up ahead, but our, our team seems strong now. The mother-daughter relationship was not conducive to uh, pulling the cart. Uh, slave. So we're taking a break right now in the middle of our dog sledding tour. Uh, we're at the halfway point, which means that I don't have to drive. I get to be the passenger while Emma has to drive. Let's see how, how well you fare. So I've been the passenger this whole first time. 
I just want to show you, as a passenger, you actually get a nice, like, back pillow. This is a pillow, and then you get this nice blanket, so you're completely bundled up in the sled as you're just weaving your way through here. The steering is not as uh, easy as it might look. All you get to basically do is lean on one side or the other, um, uh, and it doesn't really steer or anything, it kind of just shifts the weight a little bit. It doesn't really yeah. control the dogs. Yeah, so, I mean, the dogs are great, like they, they know where they're going. So. Look at these sweethearts. She also took a poop mid-run, which was pretty impressive. Yes, I know. I know we're going to start running again soon. It's going to be so fun. Can't believe some people, like, in the Iditarod and stuff, just do this for weeks and weeks at a time. Some of these dogs have ran in the Iditarod, which is impressive. Yeah, the ones with orange markings. I don't know if I've orange seen any collars. Orange I don't see collars. any with orange collars, but yeah. some of them have. He said a lot of the orange colored ones go with the guides though because they're not like tourist dogs yeah. or they need trust with their owner. They're ready. They're super ready. I'm kind of nervous to to be the driver. It'll be okay. Well, It'll be great. We can always switch, I guess, if it, if I'm horrible. No, okay. Slacking? Yeah. Go! Oh, quick, 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 quick! Don't freak me out. Woo! <laughs> Good time! I want to keep it taut, taut. Yeah, yeah break, break. Nice. But I'm breaking on the left side, right? To kind of get. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Woo. Someone's pooping. All right. Oh no. No, they're good. It's supposed to snowstorm tonight, and you're kind of getting like the first flurries. You do seem to work quite a bit. Sorry, it's cold. Let's <laughs> see though. Oh. <laughs> looks like a dog toy. <laughs> Jump, 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 jump high, jump high, <laughs> done.